Yo, what is good, YouTube? And welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we have Inferno dropping tomorrow in NBA 2K24. My team doesn't look like there is a collection lock in, which means Pink Diamond Tracy McGrady, Pink Diamond Andre Karolinko, and Pink Diamond Steph Curry will be buyable directly from the player market, which is. Wait, does that say they're available via agendas? Oh, 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 Does that mean that T-Mac, Steph, and AK are... For hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, we got to hop into this. Before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 18,000 subscriber mark on the channel I upload every single day. Without further ado, I just read, earn all Inferno players via agendas or look for them in the pack market. They don't say player market here. Are these players all free? This could be the best set they've ever dropped. Honestly, if it's all free. Hold on. Season 4 is here and NBA 2K24 is on the road to Indianapolis for All-Star Weekend, featuring a new way to earn Pink Diamond player cards each week. Season 4 is prepared to launch with more cards starting to collect and new releases and events. This is going to be the best season ever, if this is what I think it might be. We're about to find out. Anyways, uh, pick up the Pro Pass or Hall of Fame Bass for a new level of automatic awards featuring Pink Diamond Carmelo Anthony. I expect their card will be pretty good. It'd be interesting to see how good he actually is. I will be picking up the Pro Pass because I think it's the best use of money each season in terms of the value that you get out of it. And I will, of course, be doing gameplay with this Carmelo card tomorrow. Now, Inferno, starting season four with some heat. Inferno returns the new reimagining of the theme and a theme and a new format for this release. Alongside new Inferno packs and boxes for the next week, all Inferno cards can be earned via agendas. Wow, that's that's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, that is pretty cool. Um, interesting. Inferno features 11 player cards filled with fan favorite picks, including Pink Diamond Steph, Pink Diamond AK, P Diamond Paulo, um, players returning from the first Inferno set, Amethyst Brandon Jennings, DeAndre Ayton, and Pink Diamond T-Mac. When they say the first Inferno set, what they are talking about, by the way, and I'll get back more into this in a second, but I believe it was 2K21 when we got the Inferno set, it was. It's this set right here, which by the way, had, uh, oh no, it's not this set. Okay, I was thinking of a different, oh no, it is this set. It's this set specifically, the one with the collection award that was Hondo. The cards that went into the Hondo set were not, a couple of these guys were not, but it was LeBron, T-Mac, Bogut, Ben, or maybe Bogut wasn't, but LeBron, T-Mac, Ben, KP, and I think all the other guys were part of the were part of this set originally. Um, I guess Brandon Jennings was in this set somewhere. I don't see Brandon Jennings from Inferno, but I do remember that set being a thing. The fact that this is grindable though is the best thing 2K has done all year. Bar done. Now, I do expect these cards will probably not have animations changed in all likelihood because they are free. But the fact that you can get Pink Diamond Steph and Pink Diamond AK from just single player modes, by the way, and features a mixture of single player and multiplayer requ requirements, but a lot of them can be completed in single player, including the ones for the two most expensive players, which obviously are Curry and Kar Karolinko. For the multiplayer agendas, two can be completed in every multiplayer mode. Uh, and then the rest of them look at wins and statistics to be met in specific modes. Obviously, I will be making more videos breaking down how to get each of these Inferno cards and how to get the whole set for free tomorrow. But the player Players in this set include Pink Diamond t -Mac, Pink Diamond Steph, Pink Diamond AK, Diamond Paulo, Clyde, Tyler Hero, and Jamal Murray with Amethyst, DeAndre Ayton, James Jones, Brandon Jennings, and Jarris Walker as well. Um, Amethyst players already in your collection from now on. Do not trigger a walk-in animation. That's fire. I, I don't, I want to spend so much time on this. This is f unbelievable. I'm stunned. I'm legitimately stunned. I'm, I'm seriously wondering how hard these agendas are going to be because... I'm shocked that they're giving us this for free. Pink Diamond's T-Mac and Pink Diamond AK specifically. Those are two of the like biggest name hyped cards they can generally drop in packs. So seeing them drop them free, I'm thinking my team is like, there's something going on behind the scenes that we don't know about because this is not normal. To get the check grind and then to get this two weeks later or less than two weeks later, actually, just like a week and a half later, uh, just doesn't make sense to be getting this level of free cards. It's very impressive and it's great. I'm very happy about it. But uh, OK, well, I guess we'll come back to those players. Let's talk about the rest of the season four rewards that are coming. Obviously, Kareem is the level one. There's a diamond Rex Chapman on Ascension who will actually probably be decent. The dynamic duos are Sapphire Terrell Brandon with Amethyst Jawan Howard and then Ruby Millsap and Horford. It doesn't actually say what tier they duo to, but that's okay. Now, salary cap has a diamond in each tier. Okay, that's good. It's better than Amethyst. Diamond Latrell Spear will be okay um, as the first tier reward for salary cap. Pink Diamond Drazen is not that exciting, honestly. 
Uh, I don't think he's going to be very good. We will obviously have to wait and see, but I don't have that high hopes on unless they change his animations. For the token market, uh, seasonal tokens will give you three all-star player cards, including Paul Pierce Pink Diamond for 40 tokens. Again, if his release isn't changed, he's going to suck, but it's another big name. Maurice Cheeks and Jeff Ruland, whoever Jeff Ruland is. I've literally never heard of, but apparently he made the all-star team at some point. Um, and then... These are the new reward mini games after wins. That's fine. Pickup challenges have apparently been updated. More updates. Oh, what are they doing? This is the best 2K season ever. I, oh my gosh, this is great. This is amazing. This what I don't. Something has changed. Something has changed at 2K. Whoever's in, whatever is going on, something has changed significantly in the last couple weeks, and I don't know why. I was really worried about this season. All of a sudden, I'm not. Season 4 brings a major change to how top player cards are earned each season in my team, with new player reward cards focused on a single mode being added weekly via agendas. Each, available is, each player is available for six weeks, and wins will be all you need to focus on to add those cards to your collection. So... Unlimited is the first with a pink diamond thorough Bailey available for 20 wins in unlimited. He will also be acquired accompanied by some other win based agendas in unlimited. The, uh, these are the win based agendas. Okay. The unlimited agenda group reward is a hall of fame badge for three wins. You get a Ruby Tim Duncan coach for seven wins. You get a diamond shoe and shoe boast back for 12 wins. You get an amethyst coach. And then for 20 wins, you get pink diamond thorough Bailey. Uh, these new coach cards will be accompanied by a pink diamond doc rivers that will be available in packs and box is in the pack market. Uh, Triple Threat, Clutch Time Online, basically every other mode will receive a similar agenda in the upcoming weeks during Season 4. Uh, and then there are also two player cards to earn that are uh, pink diamonds. You can get Michael Red by 5,000 season points, 50 wins in Clutch Online or Offline, 100 wins in Triple Threat Offline, 50 wins in Triple Threat Online, and 50 wins in Triple Threat Online Co-op. And then Specialization, which the Specialization requirements have gone down some. Um, is now for Pink Diamond Larry Bird. That's the Hakeem reward for last season. Uh, but that's 20,000 points in Unlimited, 400 wins in Clutch Online, 300 in Clutch, or 300 in Clutch Online, 400 in Clutch Offline, 800 in Triple Threat, 350 in Triple Threat Online, and 400 in Co-op, which is reduced across the board outside of Co-op. I think that's the only one that wasn't reduced, but that's because that was probably the shortest. Um, it's going to make it easier for people to have Larry Bird, I guess. Michael Red being available in all the modes for just completing a mode is fire. There's no ultimate reward at all anymore it doesn't sound like and then there's a new pink diamond in a game mode each week this is the best rewards of the year by far new collector level rewards include pink diamond jerry sloan pink diamond bob pettit in addition to 50,000 my team points a bunch of uniform well uniform cards and a wilson ball card i guess that's not that exciting to be honest we'll see if jerry sloan and bob pettit are good but honestly i'm not going to be excited about collector level i don't think this year until they truly give us a great collector level reward or until that kobe is available but before that it's just not that exciting to me outside of collector level though like goodness gracious y'all are absolutely what in the world a diamond roy hibbert is going to be available on monday uh, a new season rewind release is going to be on wednesday as well so that's going to be like a moments of the month type of set kind of um the gauntlet this week is there's going to be a gauntlet for Roy Hibbert. I don't know what mode this will be in. Maybe co-op. Maybe it'll be a uh, Triple Threat Online gauntlet again. We'll see how good this Hibbert card is. Hopefully he's decent. He's a 7-2 center. Pink Diamond. That card's got potential. This is a game-changing season in a lot of ways. My team is the best it's been all year. By far, content-wise, going into the season. This is... Okay. Before I get... I don't want this video to be absurdly long. I'm actually thinking I need to make another video to talk about how big of a change this is. But I think this might be the most dramatic in-year pivot that I have seen content-wise in a very long time. They have gone dramatically in the opposite direction from the way that the first couple months of this year were over the past few weeks with lots and lots of more budget cards. But now with all of these amazing pink diamond players available for free, pink diamonds that are going to be available from this in every single mode this season, more pink diamonds that are available from just completing any one mode from completing even further in any one mode for Larry Bird. Um, so there's a couple of different specialization rewards basically this season in addition to all of these individual pink diamonds. While I am not certain that magic is going to be amazing, I don't, I'm not that high on draws and I'm a little worried about it. I do think this Thurl Bailey is going to be a freaking dog. Larry Bird, I'm hoping for some new sigs on him and magic. Like, I'm hoping for some change sigs and animations and stuff. I will say this tells me one thing and that's that uh, Galaxy Opals are coming pretty soon. They, they have to be because as great as this is and it is this is the best 
single blog we have seen all year at all. Tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of free pink diamonds everywhere, including some of the biggest names in NBA history and likely some of the very best cards in the game. What this means is that there is a Galaxy Opal set coming soon. There has to be. Opals have to be coming soon. They have to make their money. This isn't making 2K money. What this is doing is bringing in new players to the game. We are going to see an absolutely massive influx of people into my team in season four because of how much good free content there is at the start of the season. And I would expect next Friday, we will probably see some sort of mega set dropped again for an incredibly desirable Galaxy Opal card. And as this is their way of sucking everybody back in, is giving them a ton of stuff to do and a ton of free rewards so they can build a base team and have a really good solid squad. And then they're going to drop the expensive cards. That's probably what's happening here. Uh, is that a little pessimistic? Maybe, but is it probably true as well? Also, yes. With that being said, is this literally the best playbook we have gotten all year by far 100%? Free T-Mac, free Steph, free AK, free bunch of NBA legends here. Magic, Paul Pierce, Larry Bird. This Thorough Bailey is going to be incredible. Michael Red, yada, yada, yada. An unlimited, or just a gauntlet on Monday. It might not be unlimited, probably not unlimited, but a gauntlet on Monday. Carmelo is the pro pass player. This has gone from me being worried the season was going to be a disaster to this is the best looking season of the year by far. I am so, so excited. Um... I will be have work, doing a lot of work this weekend. It's going to be a lot of videos, a lot of work, because we are going to be, have to be out here grinding for sure. Tons and tons and tons of new content. Good job, 2K. That's all I'm going to say. For right now, great job. Going to be interested to see what more. And honestly, I think I'm going to make a whole other video. Um, just kind of breaking this down a little bit more precisely so that hopefully you all understand everything that is coming in season four, because I know I have just talked and ranted and raved this whole video, but I hope you all did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2k content very, very soon. And I appreciate y'all. Peace.